No, be that! Oh. No. There will be some cool music that goes with this. It's not here yet, but it will be here soon. Hello, everyone. I'm Nathan Blake, and welcome to Grandpa's House. It looks a lot like a Dave Microwaves game, actually. Like, from way back in... Uh, you know, like last year, Dora's dead sort of time period, so... But this is some, like, pretty smooth animation and stuff. I, I feel good about it so far. Look pretty spoopy. Look like I had that good old low-poly spoopiness to it. And I, I was definitely hoping it would be kind of like, uh, you know, some of those other games about grandparents throughout the... Yep, this is very, very Dave Microwaves-esque. Which is kind of hilarious, because I don't, I don't think it's a Dave... I don't think Dave is just, like created a secret account and is releasing new games under a different name. That would be a crazy thing for Dave to do. So I'm assuming, oh, good gravy. Apparently we got knocked unconscious. Probably by grandpa. Uh, it's a good thing he left me with my flashlight though. It would be a real shame if he knocked me out and took all of my stuff and then killed me. Instead, he apparently left me in his house unattended with a flashlight, which kind of makes you beg the question. You need a key to open this door. Door is locked. Okay, well, what it, where am I supposed to find said key? Like, I, I would have thought it... Oh, oh, hey, 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 I found a thing! How do I, how do I, oh, I got it! I got a key, guys! I got a key! I'm gonna I'll go open the door. I don't know why I would have left the key out here with me. That seems like a dumb idea for him, but, you know, it's just whatever. Also, I don't really know why he would, like, lock me down there, but then he would just let me, like... Why would you leave your key there? And is it gonna come after me now whenever I what what just happened? Was I did I just take something from that? If I found you, I will kill you. Oh boy, good gravy, I don't like that none. That is a whole lot of nope. No be after us! No, good gravy! Okay, hi, hi, okay. Well I guess we're gonna try again, because that certainly happened. I don't even know. If I find you, I will kill you! Okay, alright, so it loaded in after we escaped from the the downstairs area which is good uh that's that's a very good thing because i would prefer not to have to do the downstairs part over and over and over and over again so that door oh oh hi hi okay i guess i'm going the way he came i'm nowhere i'm nowhere man i'm definitely not here definitely not right here where i'm at right now because if you were to look for me right here where i am right now you would definitely not find me that's that's more or less what i'm saying that room is filled with spikes why was it? Why does he have a room in his house filled with spikes? Oh, hey, I actually opened it this time. It can open? Okay, what about that one? Okay, so there is definitely a key in there, but it's actually behind a thing, and I just just got lucky and and discovered it before. And actually, if I found you, I will kill you. Nope, you're not going to find me, man. That's definitely not what you're going to do. Why does he have a... I, I need to look at this again. That is definitely a room filled with spikes. Why, man? Why? Why would that be a thing that you need to have in your house? Oh. Um, k kill me? Uh, and take a key? What key? What key did I just take? I ain't nowhere, man. I ain't, I ain't anywhere. You definitely ain't gonna find me. Oh, he didn't see me. Well, apparently he doesn't see flashlight light as long as you're crouched. Maybe? I don't know. That worked out okay, though, so... Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a place for me to hide from him, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. So I'm gonna wait until he goes past again, and then we're gonna scooch on out and see what we can do. Oh, he's super cool. Oh, he just came in. I just saw him swoosh past. He swooshed past, and then he just swooshed out. So I think I'm okay to swoosh on out now and go after this door. Okay, come on. E to win the game. I won the game! I did it! I escaped! I escaped! Thanks for playing! Okay, well, this is made by, I think it was Mohammed Buttons. Mohammed Button Games, I think is what it was. Yeah, Mohammed Button Games. So, it was really good. It was really interesting. I'd love to see some more done with the stuff that's here. Uh, because it definitely seems like I just kind of lucked through it really quickly. But it was enjoyable. It was very interesting. And it was spoopy, so... Love to see you, like, ramp up the creepy and ramp up the difficulty, and then uh, maybe I'll try it again. I don't know. But uh, anyway, thank you for sharing your art with us, Mohammed Button 
games. And uh, like I said, reminds me of early Dave Microwave. So you have a bright future ahead of you if you just keep keep uh, honing in that skill, you know, and find your niche. So thank you for sharing it with us. And uh, to you, the viewer, thank you all so much for watching as always. We will see you in the next one. Remember, for, for now, this is Nathan Blake. I always, I, for, for so long now, I've just been saying for remember every time. We're going to do it again, and I'm not going to say for remember. <coughs> Ah! And to you, the viewer, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. For now, remember, it's, it's I can't do it anymore. Ah, let me try again. And as always, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games, and we'll see you in the next one. Remember, the games are art, and art is important. Sayonara. That was almost proper. It was still out of order, but it was better.